Hi, Lisa here. Welcome back to my channel. So this video, I want to talk about how I remodeled my front garden. So I've only just finished doing, well, I've redecorated my whole flat and I've just finished doing the front garden. So I want to talk about how I did it, just share with you how quick and easy and simple it is to do. Also, because I really believe that your environment has a massive impact on the way that you think and feel about yourself and your life. Um, since doing my flat up and my garden, it's actually changed the way I feel and the way that I yeah, just feel about myself. I feel more positive and happy because it's reflecting who I am instead of it just being before it was quite tatty. So the first step um, I will show you before and after pictures. So this is what it looked like before. And this is what it looks like now. So as you can see, it's a big improvement. I'll go through the steps of what I did first step was to dig out all of the dirt from the front garden. So I decided I wanted about two to three inches dug out and left a level surface. So me and my Spanish friend, I had a friend, a male friend that helped me with that. So we dug it all out. Um, he managed to take most of the dirt away. I moved some from the front to the back to just get rid of the rest of it. So that was the first step. And then step two was to buy a weed proof membrane. The one that I bought to do a bit of research on them, I always do when it comes to doing things around the house. I have to research and find the best that I possibly can for the best price. So um, I'll put the, a link below of the one that I actually bought. It was from Amazon and it was well, it is a membrane where the water can seep through because I was going to put just a plain plastic, just plain plastic sheeting down. But then one of my friends said to me, the water's going to sit on that and you'll, you might get like plants growing. And really, you want one where the water seeps through. So I decided on this one. Anyway, so I bought the membrane and it's really easy to cut as well. And you get quite a lot of it for the price. So I cut all around, it took me and my dad, my dad said he'd help me with it. It literally took us an afternoon, like two hours to do. This is to put the membrane down and start putting all the stones on top of it. At first we only bought two bags of stones, but we needed three really. Anyway, I digress. So I put the membrane down, made sure all of the area was covered and then Actually, it's better to do it with two people because if it was just me, it, like I was holding the membrane against the edges whilst Dad was like shoveling the stones against it to hold it there. Don't do this on a windy day because it will blow off as well. So make sure it's not windy and when you do it, it's good to have someone to help you. It only takes a couple of hours, it doesn't take long at all. So we put the membrane down, put the stones over it. And that was it really. That is literally all of the steps. Uh, just make sure all of it is covered. We, like I say, we originally bought two bags, like the ton, ton bags. And the stones that we got were from b &Q. They were 20 mil mixed stones. And I think that's what they were called. Oh, again, I'll put a link below so you can see what product we used. So we got two bags and at first I was like, oh, should I get three? And then I was like, oh, I don't know. I was like, oh, so we just went with two. And then we realised that we needed a third. So we did end up ordering a third bag later on. Um, with three, I think that's just about right. I could do with maybe one or two small bags. Don't know if you can hear that noise. There's building work going on next door and it's like making the house shape. <laughs> So yeah, we ended up getting three bags and that was enough. Um, and then I had some pots that were given to me that you can see in the picture and I put those 
from from I had to borrow a sack trolley trolley sack trolley sack trolley from one of my customers who I help and to move them because they are so heavy but I managed to do it with the sack trolley on my own I'm not sure about the pots I think well once they have plants in they look better but what I really would love is what are they called furs you know the triangle trees bushes Oh no, I can't remember what they're called now. But I, I want these like certain trees in there and maybe in different pots. The ones I've seen are about 25 or 30 pounds each. So, and I want two. So to spend about 60 quid on two plants, I'm just thinking I've spent thousands on this flat over the past two years. I know 60 quid isn't a lot more, but when is it going to end? So that is what I would like and that is it really i can't think of anything else that anyone would need to know about uh refurbishing a front garden if you wanted to do it the way that we did it it's really easy and really simple at first i wanted slabs but that would cost so much more so i didn't go with that option i'm really happy with the result i've got if you have any questions about the garden, the front garden that I've done, or anything you think I might have missed out, comment below. Interesting to hear what, or even see images of what you've done with your front garden. I don't know if you can do that on YouTube, but I love seeing what other people have done with their homes and gardens. I'm massively into home improvements. So that is it, I think. Thank you for watching this video and I will be making more soon to do with all sorts. As I said in my introductory video, it will be things to do with home improvements, mindset, mental health. Uh, oh, watch the first video and you'll see what I said. <laughs> I can't think straight off now. I need to do this video quickly because I've got to go out. That's why it's quite rushed, so sorry about that. But again, I'll post the links down below and I will make another video soon. Thank you for watching.